in this cypress tutorial we are going to see how to generate html report in the cypress automation framework so we will see how to generate the mochasam html report in the cypress automation framework so these are the high level steps guys so it is very easy and simple in the first step we are installing the one plugin called cypress mochasam reporter then in the step 2 we are going to add these two lines in the cypress.config.js file and and in the step 3 we are importing the cypress mochasam reporter slash register in the e2e.js file and finally we are creating a multiple javascript spec files and we are adding a multiple automation tests as well and finally we are validating the index.html report is getting generated inside the reports and html folder so let's start installing the plugin called cypress mochasam reporter so here i will go to the my project where exactly we have installed the cypress and here i have already installed in my case so simply you need to use the command called npm space hyphen sorry npm space i and space hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev space cypress mochasam hyphen reporter so this particular command you need to execute it so in my case i have already installed it just now so i have re-executing the same command once again so let's wait for a couple of seconds and once the plugin plugin got installed so we will see the next steps so it is taking little bit of time so let's wait for the some time and if you see here so it is already up to date so in my case already cypress mochasam reporter plugin got installed and go, just i will go to the report sorry document so let's add the these two lines inside the cypress config file so simply i will copy this particular line first line and I will go to the Cypress config file. So here I will go to the Cypress config file, sorry. And here I will open the cypress.config.js file and I will add the reporter colon. Followed by that, I'm adding the value as Cypress mochasam reporter. And in the similar way, let's add the another line of code that is require cypress mochasam reporter slash plugin and i will paste it inside the cypress configuration file so that's it guys now we have installed the cypress mochasam reporter plugin and we have added the two lines of code in the cypress config file now so we have to import the this particular statement in the e2e.js file so let's go to the js file that is under support folder you will be finding the one file, co file called e2e.js file so here i will add the comment as mochasam reporting that's it so here i'll say import followed by that in the single quotation i will say cypress mochasam reporter slash so we have here we have to enter the register that's it guys so we are done with the step one to step three now in the step four we have to create a multiple spec files and we have to execute the spec files so it is very easy so here i will go to the my vs code so here i don't want to execute all these spec files so here i'm creating one simple folder inside the e2e folder so here i'm selecting the new folder and here I will say reporting tests that's it and I will go inside the smoke tests and simply I will copy the two spec file and I will paste it inside the reporting tests folder and then I will rename the 
spec file name as suit one dot suit one tests for the first file and in the similar way i will rename the another js file so here i'll say suit two tests dot js file so here i'll say suit two tests dot cy dot js that's it guys now i will go back to the once again first file so here i will rename the test suit name as suit one and test name as suit one and test one that's it guys now i will go back to the second spec file and here i will add the test suit name as suit two and after that here i will add the test name as suit two and test one so inside the suit one tests spec file which has only one test if you scroll down here so it has only one test and if i come back to the second spec file so even it has the one one test so simply i will copy this test and i will create a, another test so here i will say test name as suit two test two so right now we are having the total two spec file and three test so in inside the first spec file we have only one test and inside the second spec file we are having the two test that's it guys we are done with creating the multiple javascript spec files where it where it has the total three automation tests now let's run this these all all these spec files so here i i will go back to the folder and i will open the command prompt so simply i am using the very basic commands which we have already seen in the previous cypress tutorials and here i'm just entering the npx followed by that cypress and i'm adding the run hyphen hyphen browser and after that we have to provide the browser name as anything you can give the edge browser electron so in my case i'm giving the chrome and after that i'm entering the i2 hyphen headed so it will open the browser and it will execute it will it will start executing the automation test so basically it will not run your automation test in the headless mode and after that i am using the two hyphen spec and space in the double quotes i am providing the location of the all these spec files so simply i will right click on the folder and here i'll say copy relative path that's it so let's add the location of the spec file and after that once you added the location of the spec file simply add the backslash and specify the star and followed by that cy.js that's it guys so here star indicates that any file name which has the extension of .cy.js that's it guys now let's run the automation test and sorry guys so here i have to enter the npx and followed by that we have to enter the so we have entered uh, npm so here i will add the npx npx and then i will hit the enter so that's a small change i have done and if you look at here so it is started listening and also chrome browser is opened and it is already started executing the suit one tests so it has only one test then it will close the browser so it has it has to execute the suit two as well and if you see here it has launched the another time browser and it it has started executing the suit two tests now so it has total two tests first test got executed and it is executing the test 2 now that's it guys and if you see the table here so all the specs are passed so we had total three tests 
and all are getting passed and if you see here above the table this particular table here you can see that so index.html report is generated here in inside the project where you are working inside that we have the cypress folder inside the cypress folder we have the reports under the reports we have the html and inside the html folder we have the index.html report now let's go to the vs code and if you see here so here we got the reports folder so simply right click on that particular folder and reveal in file explorer and here i will go inside the reports folder and i will go the i will go inside the html folder and here we have the index.html report so let's open the index.html report and if you see here so we had suit1 and suit2 and if you see on the right side so the first one is total number of spec files so if you see here it is so total number of spec files is equal to the total number of suit files and after that we are having the number of tests and after that you can find the total number of tests passed and last at last you can find the total number of test failed here so in our case it is zero and if you select any of the test here so you will find what are the steps it is got executed for this particular test one that's the suit two and test one and if i come down in the suit one if i click on the test it will list down what are the commands it has executed and what are the steps this particular test is having also and also you can see the total number of number of seconds or minutes so it depends on the uh, your suit so currently our these two these two suit execution took the 56.4 seconds right so this is how we can generate the mochasam html report in the cypress automation testing